And they're repping them. They were club champions for both of these clubs. Good sportsmanship. An entirely love fest. Before we got this one going, now let's see what happens between the lines. Warfield. And Spotney will start his drive at the 24-yard line. Neither of these guys can for, really afford to get down early. That's been sort of the Achilles heel, especially for Skimbo. Yeah, both these guys were not used to seeing either one of them make critical mistakes or turn the ball over, though, you know, Skimbo obviously had some troubles in that Stevie J game. It'll be interesting to see what, which one of them makes that first big mistake and turns the ball over. Hands it off to McKinnon. Remember in that game against Kiv, McKinnon carried the ball eight times for negative seven yards. Trying to establish the run early. Motion across the formation. Mariota gets loose. He'll slide down at the 36-yard line, a gain of 11. Good scramble by spot, way to protect the ball. Protect your quarterback, move the sticks. Spot me now 14 and six in live events. Over 70% of the time he wins these live games. That's frustrating if you're spot there. You got a nine yard gain. If he just stared a little bit to the left, he would have been out to the cripple. Instead has to just deal with the nine yard gain after running into some traffic. Let's go to the air. Can't take a sack and he does. Paul Krause on the click in. Krause on the spy, then here comes Kraus. Delayed blitz. Skimbo and spot me. They look the same haircut, these two. They look like they, they could be related. And another thing I should bring up while we have time before we get to in the nitty gritty of this game. Let me do it after this fourth down, though. This is a big fourth down. I don't want to go, I don't want to go into war story mode. Fourth and four. It's a big play. Ball at the 43. Watch for Warfield in the flats. He's going to motion him. I'm not unaggressive. Oh, my God. That'll give him a new set of downs after he jumped. Yo, that's four times I've been on balance. It's happened. This is so bad. What he's, what he's talking about right there, not being on aggressive, is we talked about the coaching adjustments. And usually the only way you get your guys, the defense, to jump offside is a fake snap when the defense has their coaching adjustment for pass rush set to aggressive. And it's very rare that you can get them to jump offside when they're on balance, but spot me already able to get Skimbo to make that happen. And Skimbo saying that's the third or fourth time it's happened to him this season. It has to be very frustrating, especially on a crucial fourth down like that. Don't jump offside. Able Don't to push it to the Holy plus crap, side of the 50, third and six. It's a huge game. Skimbo trying to lock in. Sack here would be sweet. He's lost three games in a row the number one player in the world but coming into this event. And Julio. Like I said, I still have Skimbo in the top five, obviously. I can't get any pressure, but I'm on balance. But he's not playing any block or nothing, but very well these last couple games. Another first down, spot me. And throws a pick. Lurking is Skimbo. It's, dude, he's going nuts, man. He's talking to himself over there, screaming out he can't get any pressure because he's on balance, and then I'm talking about I'm going to fight, and then gets the big interception. And spot me was moving the ball prolifically. And we'll talk about crucial mistakes. There it was, Scott. Spot me's open and drive. 
Jim needs to capitalize. Wentz hands it to Jamal Charles, the former Longhorn, who's lost a step, is able to pick up the first down. And that draw play is big for Skimbo. We didn't see him run that against Stevie J at all, but it really keeps his opponents honest and opens some things up. So expect to see some more of that from Skim this game. So first and ten for Skim. Ball at the 42. Spot me was a number 15 player in the world. Coming into this one. But right now he's playing at a top 10 level. Charles. Of course, this is the first time we've really seen Skimbo out of the gate trying to establish the run. Hasn't had that the last three games. Loves this halfback draw play. It's just all big pressure. Into the play action. Something I wanted to bring up about both these guys is, you know, we get esports. Some people aren't as familiar. They don't have the context about all the individuals. It's like, oh, these guys are all guys that live in their mom's basement and just play video games. And that's not the case at all. And especially with Skimbo and Spot Me. You got Spot Me. He's a graduated college with an accounting degree. Works full time as a credit analyst. And you got a guy in Skim Skimbo who already has his business management degree and does a lot of, you know, volunteer work, coaching baseball and things of that nature. And I just thought that was cool to share with people. It's not just kids in their basements play playing video games. These guys, they got their stuff together, but they also have something that they're passionate about that they enjoy competing with on the side. And there's nothing wrong with that especially when you're able to have as much success as they are outside of games in their real lives. Key first down, excellent point, RG. The only time you'll find Skimbo indoors is when he's playing Madden. Loves to get out on the lake, do some fishing. This is a touchdown, that's a touchdown. Big time a baseball touchdown. guy, and Hester's open, and Skimbo! Come on! Can that be the momentum? And when Skim's on fire, this is what he does. He tells you it's a touchdown before he even lets the ball rip. All he needs to do is take a look at the defense, snap it, see he's got you where he wants you. This is a touchdown. Bombs away. Six plays, 69 yards, 76 seconds. Skimbo finally getting a lead. Oh, don't let Mike Skimbo wake up early on in this season. It could be trouble for the rest of the field. He'll show you why he's the number one player. Warfield makes a man miss. Spot me will have a second possession. Right Look at this again. This is a touchdown. Vincent can't catch up. That emotion. You don't think Skim still gets up the big games? The spot me goes with a group of secure tacklers when he's facing someone like Stevie J. But when you're facing like a Kiv or a Skimbo, that's when he rolls out the Vincents, the Allens, the Renfros, Larry Wilson. Right now he's going to need to answer that touchdown by Skim. That was a big one. That was a big one for Mike Skim. He needed that. His offense a bit struggling. Get some momentum against Spotty. That's a big deal. That's good pocket for Spotty. Yeah, let's go. Come on. Throws it away. Looked like he could have maybe got away on that left edge. Looked like he broke containment. Third and 11. Ball at the 21. I don't know if this is, this isn't four down territory given the situation for Spot. He doesn't wouldn't get the first. Skim would already be in field goal range to make the two possessions. Big play for Spot. There you go. The loop blitz gets rid of it. Ingram couldn't lower his head. You can see the look on Spot Me's face. See Skim right there, but I'm looking over at Spot Me. He knows he has a decision to make here, Scott. Fourth and four. And you'll have to think about that when we. Restart the second quarter. Skimbo with a touchdown lead over Spot Me Please. And then Blocky continues his dominance thus far. Just a field goal lead over Goes. That's over in Division A. 
Little Dolphins, little Redskins. That's the end of the first. Start of the second quarter. Skimbo, spot me, please. Skim threw an absolute bomb to take a 7-0 lead, but spot me has now got a key decision on a fourth and four. Cannot jump off sides. <laughs> Skim's got to be careful. I, I, I got the visual of Skim screen here. Just put that pass rush too Ain't aggressive. No I'm on aggressive this time, though. On a fourth down, they... It's risky. You could jump off sides here. Expect Spot me to fake snap it. You can see him moving. No fake snap from Spot yet, though. Mariota finds Julio Jones, and that'll move the chains out at the 46 yard line. That was a big conversion for Spot. You don't get this. You got Skimbo already deep in your territory, ready to make it two possessions. That was an awkward block by McKinnon. Kind of just wedged himself in between the defender and Mariota. I missed it. Or spot me. If anyone deserves to rock this Mariota, it's the big Titans fan and spot me. Yeah, we got uh, yeah, all the games down. right now. You got club winners all over the place. Spot me, the Titans representative in the club championship. Skimbo, the Patriots, like you mentioned. But then you got Blocky, represented the Dolphins and Ghost, who ended up winning the whole club yeah. championship. And it's Redskins with the up oh, by no. Krause. Could it be six? Ah. Skimbo. E5 full fum. I think they woke up the Skim Giant. This is going to be a problem if Skim gets it going. Kick is up and it is good. And it's 14 to nothing now. Spot me throws a pick six. You're the rest of the field. You cannot start giving Michael Skimbo this kind of life. You had him at 0-2. You had a chance to really put him down in the dumps, make him have little to no momentum. And there he goes in his matchup against Spot Me, making plays. This game right here, this is game. He talked to us about that defensive adjustment you can make with Kraus to set him down in the flats. Kraus makes a play. Said he actually picked that up in a weekend league game, just playing some random guy over the weekend, the big weekend league, which is a huge part of Madden, get some great rewards. Said he saw someone do that, and he's been using it ever since. Yeah, what he does is you see Kraus. Where he aligns Kraus, it's not way back in that safety position. He moves him a little bit into the box. Goes down in the red zone on your left. You know, he, he puts him in a hard flat spot, and he feels Kraus in that hard flat as the height to, as he's coming down, can guard the quick corner route as well and get down and guard that underneath stuff. Let's go to Blocky now. Gets out of the pocket. Mariota Sticky. Down to the half yard line. Third and goal. Redskins, Dolphins. These two teams have some history too. I mean, Dolphins beat the Redskins 14-7 in Super Bowl 7 to steal that perfect season. Redskins later on went to beat, beat the Dolphins in Super Bowl 17. Is this the tiebreaker? That was 1982. Blocky still has a perfect season going. But Goes will tie it up here with 250. Three to three. How big was that club championship? really propelled a lot of our players into this ultimate league. You had several guys that were really out of it. Blocky needed some help to get in. Spot me played his way in to the 15th spot. Big ultimate team implications. Spot me getting away, throwing on the run. Hit. Paul Krause said hello to Kittle. That club championship, the thing that was coolest about it is this is our first year having all 32 teams 
involved in it. So that, yeah, 32 people that got to be champions. Just a whole new mix of faces that we got to see make names for themselves on the circuit. Come on, my team's got a fight. Paul Krause, the all-time interception ball. leader. Played his college ball at Iowa. And Ingram will sneak it in. Paul Krause actually played for the Redskins as well in his career. You even, you even admitted it one time. You're like, who the heck is this Paul Krause guy? When I first saw the legend, I had no idea. Kick is up, and it is good. That makes it 14 to 7. So spot me able to answer right before the two-minute warning. Here's that the, the hands adjustment. You got someone that's pooch kicking you for days. Come out in the onside kick and then audible to the return. And you'll have some of your hands guys in good position. And that's where you'll see Skimbo, and you see the speed. You know, instead of having a fullback there. All of a sudden, you got Tyreek Hill, and you got great field position. There's the run again by Ingram, making it a touchdown game. 201. He's got three timeouts, plus we'll have the two minute warning after this play, and Wentz can't get loose. Skimble had all kinds of momentum, but now only up seven. Spot me trying to D up and get some of that momentum back. See, this game's far from over if you might skim. Chan of Go Titans go to the crowd. Delaney Walker. That's going to make it a third and manageable three yards. Got to get to the 46. Pick up the first down. Skimbo and spot me to stay on that conservative ball carrier coaching adjustment. There's he is wide leader. open. And he dropped it. Took forever to get it out of his hands. And then Hill couldn't hold on. Yeah, he needed a low throw or something. So he could possession catch and go to the ground. And now Skim's got himself a big fourth down. Some momentum play right here. Look at spot me. You see him adjusting. He's dead serious right now. You know, as you get a stop here, you might be able to get a score. Might have a tight game at half. That's how big this fourth down is. Wentz, here comes the heat. They pick it up. And he throws an absolute Stevie. Had to just let it rip on fourth down. Fourth down, you got to let it go. That's a great point. The drag was guarded by spot me, user control. Skip maybe could have went to Got to go over the top. Maybe yeah, the top, over the top yeah. on that A seam route, but. Spot me all over it. Look at him. Taylor Robertson from Ballard, West Virginia. The skim scored 14 unanswered. Can Spot me come back with a 14 point run of his own? Mariota. Got to throw it away and he will. Three timeouts, 117 to go in the half. Ball at the 36, trailing by a touchdown. I like that spot uses Mariota. Everybody else. He's on the bandwagon. They want that speed on that snow beast, but he's earned it. He's been waiting. He's got the jersey. He's a real Titans fan. Maybe a little extra motivated playing with his guy, Marcus Mariota. Third and eight. I got it. Spot me. Good job buying time. But it said he was under pressure. That brings up a fourth and eight. Did everything right. Got out of the pocket, set his feet. But that's what you get with Mariota. You got a little speed, on, one time. but you don't have the accuracy of a Carson Come on, Wentz. Team. Come on, team. Skim I need you right his coaching now. adjustment to aggressive right, right here. Another big here, fourth here, down. Here, 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 one, 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 one. Skim, this could help you. You're struggling you offense right if you now. get a stop here. Quick. Right on the cusp of field goal range. On, these are the plays you need to make if you Mike Skim. You can't just keep giving up these first downs on fourth. Got to get deep on that zone. Oh, there right. it is. The heat. You call it, RG. Dials up the blitz. And Von Miller on that aggression. Able to. Wow, what a move on the outside. Kittle 
You just got destroyed, my friend. That was very Von Miller-esque. Yeah, it looked like he was going to speed rush on the outside and swam back to the middle and made the play. Now Skim has an opportunity to score before the half. That was big. That was huge for Skim. He just needs to run this ball. Don't turn it over if you're Mike Skim. You can't take sacks either. You can't continue to take sacks. Get yourself out of field goal range. You need to get points here. Early in the season, Stevie J came up with 11 sacks for Skimbo. 11. And he had Skimbo where Skimbo had to air it out almost every down. Stevie, made Stevie J just sit back and sent the dog at him. Charles Bosa's right there. Skimbo does have Prater. 92 version, the football outsider. So he is in field goal range. If he can avoid taking a sack here. It's not an easy kick, though. Wentz, try to look off to safety. A roll out, you gotta throw this away, my man. And he will. So three for eight, his numbers have been really rough. It's gonna take most of everything Oh, he's not using prayer. This is Greg the Leg. This is a this is a walk in the park. Kablow! <laughs> no call Sir line. Call nothing. <laughs> he was rocking Prater early in the season. Comes back with Greg the Leg. And Zerline kicks it through and makes it a two-possession game. But Spot me's got a timeout. That's the other reason why you see guys that Prater or Greg Zerline is be able to kick it out of the end zone, avoid some of those returns. Yeah, when you talk to Ghost and some of these other guys that have invested in their kicker, they said it's absolutely not just for field goal purposes. It's special teams is usually very hard on salary cap because you've got so many tank players out there. The least you can do is get yourself a good kicker that can hopefully boot it deep in the end zone and get you a touchback. Skimbo used the time out there. Getting diabolical. And he's going to do it again. Why not? Oh, my. Yeah, no, that's smart by Mike Skims right now. There's nowhere to go. You see the replay here. Got a fake, you got a fake snap a few times. Screen play. Green. We're calling for it earlier. Had room. That's some potential. Skim wasn't ready for oh, it. Couldn't make a guy miss. He uses his final timeout. Fourth and 22. It's very yeah, important you get this out of bounds because Devin Hester is standing at his own 45. Skim's very good at returning the ball in special teams. Too. Yeah, 19 career touchdown returns. He's going to have an opportunity. It's actually Rimfro getting over there. Good punt. Six seconds for Skim to throw about a 10-yard dot. It'd have to be quick, and it'd have to be through the sideline. If not, then you got to go up top. Cover four. Cover four, look. For spot me, there's going to be some stuff open underneath. Got to be quick to the sideline, though. And that'll do it for the half. But Skimbo, after Struggleville for three straight games, comes back and has his best half of the season. 17-7 lead over Spot Me Please. And Blocky and Goes are in a defensive struggle. 6-3 here at the half. Start of the third quarter. Between Skimbo and Spot Me Please, the lead is 10 here in this very tough Division B of the Elite Conference. Spot Me, a top 10 player in the world, just happened to be ranked number 15 when all the points were said and done. Boy, that AFC was tough, wasn't it, at the club championship? 
anytime you got guys like Skimbo, Problem, Spot Me, all rocking in the same. Uh, There's that. Oh, Tyreek Hill. That's see ya. Right. Deliver it. Let's go. Hello, Felicia. No, <laughs> bye, Felicia. And Skimbo yells, Deliverance. Because shout out to the Steelers club champion, out, Deliverance, who set that face meta. Face. Like you talked about, of coming out an onside kick and audible in. And you got to start taking notice. If you see your opponent do that and you're kicking the ball off, you, you need to just give up on that pooch kick at that point. Just kick it off regular. Yeah, kick it out of bounds if you have to. Yeah. That's that Pro Bowl version. Of course, he's been selected to the Pro Bowl twice now. 96 speed, yeah, and he was an inch guys, away really from being blown up. Right now. Yep. And Come see on. him get away. Two guys Tiny miss. Three, one, He's three. out. To the cribbo. I, believe, I don't know if that's the pro ball, Scott. The one I got on the roster here is the Madden Blitz 89 overall. Oh, so he saved a little bit of cap. Like saved some cap. Right but it's still a 94 three, speed three, item. I mean, right he's still... I mean, any Tyreek Hill item is going to have some legs. That'll cost you 50 cap. The meta has been that Pro Bowl item. But I guess he just didn't have it. Didn't have it under that 900 cap to be able to jump up to that 96 speed. Surely looked like he was refreshed and took off there. Third and seven. Spot me. Trying to avoid full tilt. Oh. <laughs> Pokes his way oh, to the 43. Man. High point, my God. That was, that was it, that was my pick. Oh. Come out in the second half. I mean, Skimbo's offense has been somewhat struggling. Lit up the special teams point. We've gone for it on fourth down a couple of times to give Skimbo good field position. and. Some critical mistakes you can't make. Double boxes goes is on the edge of the red zone, trailing by three on the left side. Spot me here on the right. Trailing 24 to seven. Trying to not let this one get out of hand. Goes almost through a pick. So that's gonna be a fourth and two on the left side of your screen. Goes is going to tie the game with a field goal, I assume. But he's in that formation over there. He's in the playbook. What do you think about this over on the left side? He's going for it. Fourth and two. Might, field goal would tie it. Might just be W snapping him. Might not snap that ball. Oh, he is. Going to the air. Throws it. Goes, completes it on fourth down. Wow. Cuts a move right there. Goes. Could have tied it. See if that gamble pays off. Spot me on a drive on the right side. That running game. Good struggle. For spot me. Six to three. Goes trying to take a lead here in the third. Spot me trying to get oh, back into it, and Paul Wolfield will walk in. One the legend, the three Hall three of Famer. Four. Have an opportunity to make that a 10-point game. The extra point is up, and it's good, so the lead is 10 for Skim. Now here on the left side between Goes and Blocky, it's a second and goal from the three. Watch for the wheel route. If he doesn't, hand it off to Herschel. Watch for the wheel. And he's out in the backfield. Going to the air. High point. Can't hang on. Spot me's learned his lesson. He kicks it deep. Rim throw, though. That's what you got to do. I mean, if you see someone come out with that hand scheme and audible, just kick it deep. The guys that they're going to have blocking it. Not a great block. Great. great point. And Herschel can't get in there. So now what do you do? You gambled on fourth and two. And he's going to go for it again, folks. I think he's Buckle up. Scoring a touchdown. 
almost got in. That ball was in the right hand. Try to break the plane. Pitches it. Needs a block. He's not going to get there. Well, not not going to get up there. Blocky. Blocky looked like he shifted his line out right in before Go snapped the ball, just ready for that toss. So now Blocky in the shadows will hand it off. And Henry, boy, has Derrick Henry been running tough. Second and five, ball at the nine. Here's the heat, there's a throw. Now moving out to the 21, he's nine of 10. His efficiency at quarterback here early in the season has been unprecedented for Blocky. Yeah, Blocky is playing good Madden football right now. All around, offense, defense, very impressive. Hands it off to Henry, whiffs on one. Even when you don't land that truck stick, it's still effective. Sets up the blocking, a little hesitation. Sometimes the defense gets confused. Second and one. And Mariota, Mariota. And he fumbles. Oh, the ball's up. Wow. I think that was Ginn that recovered. That thing exploded out of there, RG. Oh, this is a nuts play. Blocky getting on his horse, running. Oh, Ghost punches him. Big recovery. That was Ed Reed on the hit. This, this lineup for Ghost is ridiculous. He's got three Mel Renfros. <laughs> I guess based on how much cap he has. Uh, that's what happens in all the team is there could be several versions of a specific player, but all of them have different ratings and different kinds of cap. So and you can only play yeah. one. Yeah, you got you got to can't pick. go you can't, can't go Renfro crazy back there. No. Only one can play. You got to pick which one, and you know, depending on who you're going against or what your cap needs may be, you know, some, sometimes it varies. What version of that, that player item you want to put in your lineup? So Blocky escaped the shadows of his own end zone. Now has it all the way down to the 41. Low throw to Westbrook. I still go back to that fourth and two of goes of kicking the field goal there. I know I'm hindsight 2020 on him, but that was a big gamble to get zero points out of it, and we're headed to the fourth. Blocky getting stingy, a six to three lead over goes here at the end of the third. In between Skimbo and Spot Me, it's a 24 to 14 game. Skimbo looking for his first win of the season. What? Start of the fourth, goes trying to lock in. No, he had an opportunity to get one yard and take the lead. Blocky denied him on a pitch play. And now Blocky's on a drive with a chance to go down here, RG, and make it a two possession game. Yeah, if you're ghost, you need to do all you can right here to make sure Blocky does not get a touchdown and hold him to a field goal. Tries to bring some heat. Blocky stands tall and wide open. Oh my. That was Dee Dee Westbrook, playoff version. Almost got it blocked there, but it's a 10 point lead. What a swing. Eight plays, 96 yards. And a little siren to boot. Fantastic vision by Blocky on that play. Let the route set up. Oh, here comes Ghost. Ah! Oh, almost got free. It's Tyreek Hill once again. Look at this. No deep safety help over the top. Just has all the zones underneath. Ghost not happy. Remember Westbrook played his ball at Oklahoma. Picked up in the fourth round. All the injuries they had at Jacksonville. 
propelled into the lineup. Made a big impact for the Jags and making a big impact for Blocky. Now let's see what Goes can do. That was the core version. That's the base version of Tyree Kill. That's why he didn't run away on that kickoff. It's a good note. Maybe have a better version of Tyree Kill. He's out to the cribbo. It's a ball at the 44, second and 18. Got to at least get three on this drive. Mariota. They picked up the block and he got hit as he threw. And Tyreek pulls it in. Blocky wasn't kidding. Look at the throw right on the pressure, right as he gets hit. Good completion for Ghost, but Blocky wasn't kidding when he said the key to his game plan is that D line and getting pressure. Pressure if they've been getting almost picked off. Should have been picked. SWAT animation. Couldn't get his head on a swivel there. Pick off that pass. Rare bad read for Ghost, who was so confident the other night. When we were able to catch up with them. I was talking about him winning the whole thing. Blocky's been a juggernaut here early. Good low pass, though. Ghost has been extremely hot, winning the Philly, Philly Challenger event towards the end of the year. Turned that momentum to become the Redskins club champion and then won the club championship. Well, he's representing the Redskins. Warfield got absolutely pancaked on the left side. He tried to block someone and got through the ground so hard that he fell down twice. Second and goal at the six. Mariota, the throw, and Warfield. Come on, man, one stop. Catches it in traffic, and goes is back in the game. The lead's three. Yeah, it was definitely in traffic, but Warfield in 95 overall. Able to make the big play. And now Blocky's going to need to respond on offense here. You don't know Paul Warfield. He was with those 72 Dolphins. Eight-time Pro Bowler. A couple Super Bowls. Of course, you can see his bust in Canton, Ohio. The Hall of Famer. Of course, causing some damage to Blocky's Dolphins right now. It's a key drive, under three to go. Mariota sets his feet and throws. And there's D.D. Westbrook once again. Who caught a lot of passes from Baker Mayfield. This time able to haul it in. Such a big play right there by Block. He gets a huge game on the cusp of field goal range. Gets to continue to kill Clock. It's the type of play you need to make if you want to win Madden football. Games. You know what uh, Baker Mayfield and you and I have in common? Throw it, throw it. We'll both be in Dallas at the draft in he April. Hits. Play a little John Madden football for the guap. The question is, who's coming with us? <laughs> That's right. We're trying to figure that out here in L.A. Second and eight. Fifteen seconds before the two-minute warning. Blocking. Trying to get out of the pocket. Goes calling for a fumble. Got to be careful. That'll take us to the two-minute warning. Still a full slate of timeouts on both of the, these players' arsenal. It'll be a third and nine from the 38. Blocky, you consider definitely want to go for the first down here. The, the field goal's nice, but first down is a huge deal if you can get it. Trying to put the clock in your Let's favor, go! and there's the blitz. Back, man. Looping in off the crossfire. It's going to push him well out of field goal range. It's a big sack right there by Ghost, Hassan's ball. It's a 60-yarder unless they added a Kevin Butler item that I don't know about. 
He's well out of field goal range. So he'll punt it away. Set up some defense, and Goes will start at his own 10. Just needs a field goal to fo force overtime. Here, Hassan Spall, a.k.a. Ghost. This is exactly what you want. The ball in your hands on the guap drive. Chance to march down this field, score a touchdown, take the lead, get the glory, secure the bag. Another two minutes to go. Mariota. Been running for his life back there against this blocky pressure. You see that little thing that dropped down? That's because we're looking from Blocky's angle, showing that the aggressive pass rush made the difference in the sack. Second and 12. Able to find Tyreek Hill, who spins for the first down at the 22. Big time play for Goza, right? Stood tall in the pocket and delivered a strike. It's two, two minutes, less than two minutes left, a minute 17. Where you just got to run your best oh, stuff, that's and that's it. not it. That's not it. Paul Krause, the all-time interception leader in the National Football League, I makes another pick. I really like the face cams. <laughs> usually these players make a big play. You see them animate, they yell, they beat their chest. See, Blocky gets pretty much what could be a game ceiling interception right there. He does nothing but a little smile. I thought that, I thought that was funny. <laughs> pretty stoic. For young Blocky, 21 years old. From Miami, Florida. Repping his Dolphins. And he was the last guy that got into the Ultimate League, number 16. And he's off to a hot start here. Does have Matt Prater. He's got a big leg. Out of timeouts as goes. Stretch it out again, and he's pushed him back to the 34 now. So that'll take it down about 32 seconds. Anything can happen with a kick. Can once and goes his career. I don't think he's got it. He's actually got Guskowski in there. He's got Prater on the roster, but started Guskowski for this one. That, he doesn't have the range. He can't get it there. It's a 51 yarder. It's just the 86 overall, Guskowski. I mean, it's at. Yeah, it's. You, you saw when he lined up that the. The kick was just below the crossbar, so he's going to have to punt. And once again, oh boy, this is Close. this is old school. Wow, good. Coffin corner down to the two. This has safety written all over it. Blocky dial one up one time, you think, RG? No time. You can't give up the big play, though, if you're Blocky. Close have no timeouts. He's only bringing four on the rush. And oh. he's just throwing this route blindly. Yeah, all over that corner route on this corner strike play. Don't get me wrong, it's 90% of the time that corner strike is open. And Warfield gets out to the 16. Doesn't have any timeouts. Final with Skimbo and Spot me, please. 30 to 14. Skimbo gets his first victory. And Warfield along the sideline does tap his toes at the 28. More importantly, he gets out of bounds and stops the clock. But only nine seconds. And you need about mm, 35 yards at least, maybe more, maybe 45. Yeah, really Probably 45. Really here. And I'm not talking to this bomb, but you need to say a little prayer with it because chances of getting this are grim. Throws it outside again, so moves it to the 41. That play only took four seconds. Do you risk another one to the side, or you got to let it go? Kind of let it fly here, right? At least have, yeah, there you go. See how that A receiver's on a streak? You got to back everybody up here, though. He might bring the heat, though, just to give no time for Mariota. 
Throws it. Yeah, you don't have time for that. And that's how the game will end. Blocky able to stand tall on defense. Stop after stop. Some clutch punts. And his defense able to settle in and get him a close one. 13 to 10 victory over Goes and Skimbo for the first time this season explodes for 30 points. A 16 point win over Spot Me Please. And Adrian Lawrence is standing by with Skimbo. Yes, I am here with our number one ranked Madden player who got his first win of the season. How did this go down? Uh, I prepared really well for him, you know. I even told him he's probably the guy I prepared for the most in my group, and, uh, you know, it paid off. And also with that kickoff return that you took to the house, you had mentioned Michael Pinter, a.k.a. Deliverance. Why is that? I mean... It might look like I always run the same stuff all the time, but I always take away what people are doing and adding it to my game. And it looks so simple, right? Like, people are like, like, it looks so simple, but it got me a free seven points. So, yeah, shout out to him. If you, if I see something hot, I'm going to take it in the in the quickness. So, that's, that's good by him. Absolutely. And we know he wrapped the Steelers pretty well in the club championship. And speaking of the club championship, you are going on next to face Goes, who took the win there. What do you expect from him? Uh, it's going to be good. Uh, I know he's really been preparing for me because, you know, he's been worried about crossfire. But I got some adjustments I'm ready to do against them. Just need to score. I feel like if I can score 20 points, I feel like I'll get the dub. All right, then. Well, best of luck and congrats again. Back to you guys.